hey, look where I am. Middle of the street, San Francisco. Um, okay, so I was just driving up here yesterday and it's like a seven hour drive, six hour drive. I mean, I stopped for barbecue. <laughs> um, if you're vegetarian, then it's, if they had vegetarian options. But anyway, my name is Dr. Cheryl Meyer and I uh, do videos on these days. I record my videos and I had so much time to think yesterday. I'm, my sister got a free hotel up here. She's at a conference, a tech conference. And so um, I want to teach you guys. I mean, I had like six, seven hours yesterday to meditate and take this online class that I was just listening to. It went automatically to the next ones. Here's San Francisco. Um, I'll show you more when I get up here. I haven't been up here, but um, anyway, so today I learned the most amazing stuff yesterday, right? I had a class by Latoya Okia that I took, I signed up for it a long time ago and I've listened to her videos and I've linked them sometimes or put them in the comments on mine. Now, she is like connected, right? Uh, but anyway, this totally makes sense for how to... It's like how to reprogram your whole life, your whole experience of life. I woke up today and I had so much energy. Look at this, there's a park over there. That's the park I'm about to go into. I guess I could walk over there. It might be prettier. But anyway, so how to reprogram everything, right? Because, so I, like, you know, I've been a psychologist. So I say, yeah, my name's Dr. Cheryl Meyer. I'm a psychologist the last 20 plus years. I help people navigate through their spiritual awakening. All of life is a spiritual awakening. I'm in San Francisco. And we're gonna talk about how to reprogram your life. Just for a few minutes, right? So what happens is, you know, if you're Zen, you understand this as well. And I'm always talking about the power of now. And Christ was always teaching higher consciousness and how to get in this enlightened place, right? I love when the sun shows, you know. And so, oh, Emmanuel. It says Emmanuel right when we pass that, right? Which means God with us in Hebrew. I took Hebrew and Greek, but in Spanish. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, all right. So what happens is we have the collective. We have automatic thoughts that we got programmed in. Um, in childhood like today I was working out with my sister we did anyway uh, and there was this song in the background and I really noticed songs all the time and it was like I want to dance with somebody but the whole song is about building up this relationship in your mind and I was like I remember hearing this when I was a little girl and so you don't realize how much you're getting messages all the time from the way people look at you from the way people are from the way people interact from um, the collective masculine and the collective feminine, how our society uh, portrays it to us, how our parents portray it to us. Crossing the street again. So, um, oh, there's the park. I, I might go. Let's go over to the park. Look at how cool though. I wanna show you. I've just been looking at these streets. Um, all right. So just bear with me here because it's so worth knowing. I'll get right to it right now. So you have this programming that you're just used to um, following. And and how Latoya was explaining it, she was explaining like what I do in therapy, but a different way, um, is she was saying like, You want to be aware that someone else is running your life. All of these other thoughts are running your life unless you take conscious control of it, right? Unless you make a conscious effort 
to be aware of your thoughts. Now, one suggestion she had was just journal one page every day. Just write out your thoughts, you know, don't judge them, just put them down so you see what's going through your head. Because you can have a lot of, oh, I can't do this, I'm only this, limiting thoughts. Um, okay. That you are, those are big trees, like, subconsciously following. And you don't realize that that's the program that you're you're listening to that you're doing i've been walking for an hour and a half i might sit down for this all right and put my skates on here it looks like i can so it's hard to find a flat area in san francisco right oh i can't believe i started the video right when i got to the trees that's awesome you know how if you've seen my videos before, you know I like sitting underneath a tree. There's a park that sort of looks like this in London. Hyde Park, I think it's called. It was so great, it was so beautiful. Okay, look at this little flower. Okay, so let's go back. I'm gonna just sit under this tree and we'll finish this up. <sighs> Is when you have these thoughts and they're just going in your in your mind okay she said it's like a garden right and so proverbs 4 i know this this is a proverb this is a wise saying right so listen to the wise sayings right that's how big this tree is right tree 331 if you ever want to find it it has a pen in it that says the number all right Okay, so just be present with yourself. Know yourself as your deeper essence. You're more than just this person in this body. You know, ah, oh, look, the sun ray just shined through when I said that. You are, you're a God consciousness in a human body. You're a soul in a human body. You were made in the image and likeness of God. And so, um, you know, so she said it's like a garden and you want to, you want to weed out all of the thoughts that um, keep continuously playing in your mind that you have on automatic, that you don't realize you have on automatic. Like, oh, girls never do this or guys never do this or I can't do that or I don't know how to do that, you know. There's a verse somewhere that says, like, God, God is the house. So Proverbs 4, though, it says, Guard your heart above all else, for it is the wellspring of life. Out of it flows life. Out of your heart flows life. And so you want to know how to guard your heart. And your heart, in the old language, was your heart and your mind, you know? Your, your beingness. Guard your beingness, right? Oh, this is so awesome. You know how I wear my heart, which is, like, drop down from your head into your heart. That's where our society is going if we want to actually transmute and transform and so um so this is what i love that what she was saying is like the weeds i'm gonna okay good turn off the notification the weeds will automatically grow and so they're growing all the time that's why you have to go out every day and she says do these positive affirmations uh, over and over and over and over and until you're so sick of them like like an old song that you can't get out of your mind I used to hear yellow submarine all the time in my mind yellow submarine Anyway, the Beatles song It was way before my time, but I just I don't know why that was the one um, And so you want to say these new messages to yourself over and over and over again But I get sick of the of the messages now the other method to do that uh, is to meditate every day when you get in this place of where Dr. Joe Dispenza, you know, he talks about consciousness and he talks about like no mind in space where you're just apart from all your problems. That's how he says it. I meditate where it's like, um, you know, 
I grew up Christian and, and I welcome all religions. I always say that. But it's like, if I go to this place where it's like Christ is seated at the right hand of God, victory has already been accomplished. Then you're sitting in this place where you're back in, if you understand Zen stuff, you're back in the oneness. Like you came from the one and um, like I'm part Native American. So we say, they say, um, we whatever it is, we say, um, talk you're watching, we're all in the mind womb of God. So you're in like, the God's dream you're still in the oneness and so what happens is we're here in this world of duality we experience up down light dark fast low we're in in time even though Einstein said there's no such thing as linear time and so in this where we experience the yin and the yang and the action and the non-action and the duality then um That's where all these negative things can come in. Uh, so I'm trying to think of how to say it, you know, is the more you practice just being in deep presence, like I say in a lot of my videos, like sit here, oh, just turn 11 minutes, 11 seconds when I'm saying that in this video. I see that as like open doors, you know, and there's verses with that, but. When you know yourself as this deep presence, as a soul in a body, then you're not as hooked into the ebb and flow, to the drama that comes around you, to all of these, but I was gonna say negative thoughts. And so her thing is to keep weeding the garden because they'll grow in like concrete, weeds will, and they'll grow everywhere. And so you need to consciously every day guard your heart um, see what's coming in. I, I totally do this with media and everything like that. I don't watch anything hardly and I don't scroll through. Um, but I'm not saying you have to do exactly like me, but if you go through a time of just fasting from social media and from uh, all media, uh, you know, 15 days or something, you'll be like, what in the world? You're, you're so sensitive when you come back from that or 21 days makes a habit. You're so sensitive and aware when you go back how much influence it's it's always trying to tell you what to buy what you need to look like what what how you know we go into our egotism goes into compare criticize and judge and we judge other people and judge ourselves and anyway so the more you know yourself beyond your skin color beyond your your gender beyond uh, all of that just as a soul in a body having an experience here now it's a paradox because it's both you're also having your experience here so you know people have jobs and we need to eat and stuff like that but um the thing that was so different right because for me i had this resistance inside to do affirmations like you are loved you are strong you are unstoppable i am not not you are i am you do i am statements because she said you're introducing it's a kind of prayer when you say an i am because when moses asked god who are you he says i am that i am i am eckhart totally says i am that i am i am that one i am the i am I know um, Daskalos, this guy, would say, um, Daskalos just means the word teacher, but he would say, absolute infinite beingness. God is beingness, absolute infinite beingness. And so, but when you say, I am, you know, when we're made in the image and likeness of God, when you say, I am loved, I am abundant, I am, you know, I think of what Christ said when he said, seek first the kingdom of God. And then all other things will, will, um, uh, all other uh, all other things will come in after that you know seek first the kingdom of God and then all these things shall be added unto you all of all of the rest of the stuff is added unto you and he also said the kingdom of God is within and so what does that mean you get to explore that this is just a contemplation but how to reprogram your life what I noticed was that if I go into this oneness back into the oneness you know like the sun the sun is like a representation of that 
and 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 Christ as the God man is a representation of of God in that in the oneness you know you see how he acted with people he acted so much from the oneness not in duality not in reactiveness you know we look at his actions with our reactive self and think oh he's reacting and it's like no he's acting from the oneness right And so I'm so sensitive from childhood of people lying to me that I never wanted to lie to myself. So I felt like the affirmations would be like, I have $6 million in my bank. You know, not that I'm gonna do that, say that, you know, um, it feels like it's a lie. So it felt inauthentic. And so she kept saying, you have to speak these things uh, that are as if they, uh, that are not as if they are. She's calling that faith. Now Latoya is, but you check everything she said, check everything I say, check, 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 you know, with divine, always, always um, check. You, you can look at what that means, but you know, discern. Because I'm just figuring this out just as much as you guys are. I've just always been contemplating this and it's my passion to know it. And so I've spent a lot of time thinking and being in presence to understand this. And so, um, so this is what I was going to say is I could finally start seeing the affirmations as of yesterday. I could say, I am in full protection. I am in abundance. I am loved. I am cherished and really mean it because I meditate every day. And now I understand if I go back up to like this oneness again, you know, from that place, from when I'm seeking first the kingdom of God, you know, how does it go? It's like he that dwells in the secret place of the most high. It's like, um, there's a song, so it's a verse, but it's like, um, shall abide in the shadow of his presence. It's basically like, um, it was like the matrix opened up for me yesterday. So that's why I was like so excited to give it to you guys today is When you learn how to not just guard your heart take out the weeds by addressing and being aware of the negative thoughts um, Replace them with positive thoughts positive. I am statements But also how you can get them to be these authentic things is to go up to this place where um, where for 10 minutes a day or for an hour or for 15 minutes or 10 minutes in the morning, you know, I mean, this is why people will do morning prayers and stuff like that is you go into this oneness, you go into this space of letting go of your present day personality and not just letting it go. So you lose your mind. I'm always, this is why I'm sitting on a tree. It's like you stay grounded, right? But you, um, you're oh i don't have my cross on but i have it with me so it's like the cross you know when jesus says die every day you're dying to your outer personality to your egotism so you're staying connected this is what i got a vision on the way here when i was walking is you're staying rooted in the ground like these roots right and um and yet still connected to the divine at the same time you're dying to your outer personality, these old programs that aren't even you. They're not, they're just thoughts. You're like a radio receiver and you received all this programming. And it's like, do I want this programming? You know, is this what I want? Is this even true? Have you asked, is it true? And then the horizontal line of the cross is like how we interact with other people. So if we're to love God with all our whole heart, soul, mind, and strength and love our neighbor as ourselves, it's like you're learning how to love yourself on a higher consciousness level, on a higher level. You're, um, I'm just also trying to be aware because I've never been here as far as I know. And so I don't know what goes on. It's not like Central Park. Anyway, um, you want to, um, go up, like, Ah, oh, okay, here's what's coming to me in presence. When I take a moment to be in presence, first I was just thinking of the sun. I was like, it's like if you went in the sun every day, you know, 
And I'm not saying worship the sun or anything like that. We're not doing that. The sun is like an icon. If you want to look up what icons are, it's a representation of something more. You know, it's like, let there be light. There was light before the sun was created. And Christ is like the light and the logos. But you can go into that too. But if you went into the sun every day for like 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at night, and just let it burn away all your problems, all your worries, all of these insecurities, all of these things that you thought were you, all of your present day that you're so hooked into, so identified with, you know, if you did that and then surrender, I always say surrender up, gave everything to God at the end of the day. If you knew God to be divine love, like that someone, a being, absolute infinite beingness that you could trust that loved you and, and give that, then it's just like, um, just think how secure you'd be every day and how much more joyous and at ease and full of life and vibrancy you would be for everybody you inter you encountered, you were around. And so, um, the second image, the one that I was so, I was like, ah, oh, look what I just got, was like, you know, if you imagine, uh, if you're not in a relationship like this, if you imagine, you know, like, oh, I think I could solve all my problems, you know, with my spouse, let's say, if we just decided every morning to sit and hold each other and hug each other and just look into each other's eyes without judgment, without talking about anything, just in deep presence and, you know, love. <laughs> like if we got out of all our own mundane problems as well for 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes at night, you know, it just like it seems like it would solve so many of the world's problems if everybody was willing to do that you know and so um look at the sky you guys we never look up look up just look up you can just look up for five minutes you know people will think you're weird but whatever it takes like uh, you know, because I have the whole day off, because my sister's at a conference and I was like, I'm just going to take the day off. But I knew I was going to make this video for you guys. It's just, you know, and I have my skates. So it's like every time I put my roller skates on, it's like permission to be at ease, you know. And so you just get this great feeling, you know, and you get this, this feeling of being at ease. And it's like, it's not put on. And it's so important that you practice letting go of everything, giving it all to God, even if you don't trust God, say, hey, God, I don't trust you yet, but teach me how to trust you. Teach me how to give you everything and know that you're going to make good on it and you're going to make beautiful things. I'm exactly where I'm meant to be right now and everything, everything's going to be all right. You know, every little thing is going to be all right for Bob Marley. And anyway, I'll teach lots more about how to really get in and feel these I am statements so that you know you're not lying to yourself. You really are in abundance. You are joy because in your essence, you are that. And if you understand it, like religiously, it's like, you know, Christ came to reconcile us to God. But if you don't understand that, you know, you can just understand God is love and God always wants you to know this love and to be in oneness with this love. So just ask, ask sincerely, like how, how do I come to know this love? And not, not just fake it, but really know it deep in my rootedness and my being, like the heavens to the earth, you know, thy will be done on earth. We were made out of the earth as it is in heaven, you know? All right, that's enough for now. I wish you so much love. Thanks for being here. Uh, like this and comment and share and subscribe and look into the other stuff. I have some classes uh, that I create because um, I don't know, I just, I'm so passionate about equipping people so that you're not missing out on the real meaning of our life here. Okay, much love.